Sarah Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life. So today we are going to test four different kinds of ways to make our tag shiny and stiff. Okay, so we made these tags in the last video where we made a ton of fancy tags really super fast with just some old, um, papers and paint pens and things like that. So now I wanna make them shiny and stiff. So I have four things. This is an old one that I have that I've had forever that I use a lot, which is called Fantastic Glaze and Glue. I get this from a web, Craft Fantastic website. All right, so we have that one. We have Glossy Accents, which is from Ranger Ink. Ranger. We have Mod Podge Dimensional Magic, which is from Plaid. And we have Mod Podge Gloss Luster, which is from Plaid too. So we have four different things. Okay, the first one I'm gonna use is Craft Fantastic. I've had this for a while and it seems like the nozzle's clogged. So I am going to use it with a paintbrush. And I have had this for a really long time, so it seems like it's a little gloopy, but it definitely is dimensional. Okay, and this should, all of these I'm expecting to be able to manage themselves and level themselves out, okay? That is one thing I require of my dimensional glues. So, and these really are all glues. They all, um, glossy accents, although it is, a be is beautiful for making things glossy and hard, is actually a really good glue. It's just people like me that like to use it for making really deep dimensional things. So now we're gonna use glossy accents. I don't love the glossy accents um, nozzle. I spend a lot of time cleaning it out and but if I'm on a good day it looks like we're on a good day. No. Nope. Yeah. Maybe. No. Nope. Okay. So mostly the glossy accents I spend a bunch of time trying to get it to come through the nozzle. So that's not my favorite thing about glossy accents. And sometimes I can get it to go really well. And even though this happens all the time with glossy accents for me, I have to say it's my favorite, so I take the time to do it. I don't know that I would wanna try this on a huge project. I tend to make tags so it doesn't, there she goes. She's coming out again for a little bit and she'll do that. And so what I tend to do is fill in most of the area and then come back in. And I'll show you in one second because it's working. I love you, but I'm not going to stop while it's coming out. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, there we go. All right. So a couple things you can do. You can take your pin you used and you can move it around because this stuff is thick. This is amazing. It is my favorite thing to do. Um, I love glossy accents. And this one I know for sure will level itself out because it is super thick and it just gives the smoothest, prettiest finish to everything. Okay, see how we have a little extra thing in the middle there? We can just go in and fill it right in. I might put a little extra over here and it, it manages itself very well. I feel like Glossy Accents is the best at managing herself. Okay, so that's that one. We'll put them over here, boop. All right, number two. And this is gonna be a two-parter for me, night and day, day and night because it takes about 24 hours for Glossy Accents and the Craft Fantastic to dry because I live in Florida. Mod Podge, Dimensional Mod Podge Magic is so nice to get out of the bottle. It is absolutely my favorite. It flows right out. It's very liquid. It takes the least amount of time. So I have to say 
that I tend to reach for this when I want a bit of shine and I don't want to spend a lot of time doing it, but I have to say it is super thin, okay? It's, um, it tends to get on your craft mat, it tends to get kind of everywhere because it's thin. Okay, hold on, I'm just making sure I get it everywhere. It can fill itself in really easily. Like right there, we have a couple little bubbles. Although I would say of all of them, it makes its own bubbles the most. Like there's a bubble in it right there. Now you can pop them, but it's just something you wanna keep um, your mind on. And that's it. So that one is the easiest, fastest way to put a little bit of shine and dimension on it. All right, here is Mod Podge Glossy. And this is, I almost feel like this is a stiffer liquid, maybe? Um, then I will not use a good brush for this. So you got to give me a second. Here we go. Um... It's pretty stiff, and we're gonna put it on pretty thick, okay? So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna come around, and this this is white now, but it will dry clear, and I'm gonna go back and get any off of that grommet. But I wanna put quite a bit of this on. I wanna get all the way around first. But I wanna put a, quite a bit of this on because I want it to be thick and glossy. So I want to try to almost, you know, um, icing a cake it. Now, any lines, you're thinking, oh, it can manage itself. Those lines will come out. Now, any lines you see in here, you will have in your project. Now, for me, that's not a problem because I do kind of grungy. I do kind of... Um, uh, how would you say it? Kind of um, unique mixed media. So it's not important to me that things be um, super smooth or perfect. That's not part of my um, criteria for liking a project. But if you want smooth and perfect, I don't know that this one is going to be for you. I would go for Dimensional Magic or Glossy Accents if you want Smooth and Perfect because as you can see, these gals are smooth and perfect. Um, and they will stay smooth and perfect. They won't have any lines in them. The Mod Podge will dry clear and give me a solid, um, but it will have those lines. And then this Craft Fantastic... Um, this Craft Fantastic, which I think it's my fault that it's a little bit older, it will dry perfectly clear and smooth. So this is this is your your least expensive option. You can buy a ton of this stuff for for less money. And if you don't want to, um, I'm gonna have to clean my brushes today. If you don't want to have to um, to pay as much, like I think an eight ounce jar of this is probably the same as a two ounce jar of this but it's gonna depend on what you like. So we'll come back tomorrow and finish this up. Okay, so now for the final test. So the Craft Fantastic did make a, let's try the tap test. It did make a solid coating. It's a little thinner and hard. Um, I'm very pleased with it. It does have some lines in it, so if you're looking for perfect, I wouldn't use this. I think I used it the wrong way too, right? I painted it on. Um, so for sure, this is a good one. This is Glossy Accents, which is for these, my personal favorite. Are you ready for the tap test? Like this makes it almost like enamel or a resin or something like that without the harmful fumes that you can get. I don't use resin because I have um, respiratory issues. So um, functionally, I'm allergic to everything. So I don't use resin. So that is a favorite. Okay, here's the dimensional magic. Now this takes about, I don't know, so much less time, is super fast to do. You can pop it out. Now let's try the tap test. Eh. The tap test, it doesn't come out as good. It's 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 nice, it's shiny. I like that. I think it's good in a pinch. 
Um, if I have to do something and I need it to dry faster, um, that's, that's going to be a top pick. And then this is the Mod Podge Gloss. And let's try the tap test. It has a bit of it. So if I had to put them in order of my favorites, I would say for sure Glossy Accents. And then Mod Podge Dimensional. And then Mod Podge Gloss. And then the Craft Fantastic. Now that's a very old tube, so we, we don't know for sure. But those are in order my favorites. And hopefully that helps Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.